At Premier Care Dental, we have the latest technology and a caring staff to ensure that whether suffering from missing, hurting, or broken teeth, we can provide a permanent dental solution. Premier Care Dental offers 3D imaging, dental implants, and implant-supported dentures, replacement of single or multiple missing teeth, general screenings, and more at our comprehensive dental services office. Our 16 screening rooms and multiple x-ray rooms provide ample space for everyone, and our office is kid-friendly. Whether routine cleaning or specialty needs, come into Premier Care Dental or call us today and leave your smile to us. Hello, I'm Kurt Lidke with the Herald of News. It's Friday, June 29th, 2018. Here's a rundown of some of the top stories affecting the Klamath Basin. It's the Klamath Countdown. After discussing his departure for some time, Ross Ragland Theater Executive Director Mark McCrary is finally making it official. He's leaving his position after seven years at the helm. Friday marks McCrary's final day leading the venerable historic theater in downtown Klamath Falls. Taking over his position will be Teresa Silver as interim executive director, a member of the Ross Ragland Theater Board of Directors for the past four years, who anticipates serving in the role for the next six months while a search continues for a full-time replacement. The federal government announced Wednesday Klamath County would receive $3.1 million from the Payment in Lieu of Taxes, or PILT, program for 2018, nearly four times the $823,000 received last year. The PILT program compensates local governments who are unable to receive income from non-taxable federal land. Klamath County contains 2.2 million acres of federal land, more than half of all property in the county. The U.S. Department of the Interior plans to contribute $36.9 million this year to communities throughout Oregon as part of the largest PILT disbursement in the program's history. One of the more ambitious road efforts in Klamath Falls appears to be taking off, though not without a few questions and concerns from residents. The city of Klamath Falls continues to release more information on the new Oregon Avenue separated bike lane that connects to downtown, following questions in regards to safety precautions for drivers, cyclists, and pedestrians. The project, which started with efforts from Skylakes Wellness Center Program Director Catherine Pope and the late Stephanie Van Dyke, was a continued effort between the City of Klamath Falls and several local groups over a four-year time. Cascade Health Alliance also helped with $209,000 in grants towards the project. Supporters celebrated the bike lane's official opening last week, but a small handful of others have questioned the lane because of safety concerns related to truck deliveries and garbage pickups. Tuesday marked the second annual Park and Play kickoff party. It's a chance to celebrate the summer lunch program with a large community celebration at Mills Kiwanis Park. Coordinated by the Child Hunger Coalition and YMCA, the event welcomed hundreds for games, arts and crafts, a kids versus adults tug of war, and of course, a free lunch. During the summer, free lunches are provided daily at designated sites across Klamath County, helping to assure that kids don't go hungry when school lunches aren't available. Park and Play sites combine lunches with fun and healthy activities. The program continues through August 24th. With 4th of July falling midweek, there's lots happening this weekend. Here's a quick rundown. The biennial Tule Lake Pilgrimage is this weekend, with events happening at the Tule Lake Butte Valley Fairgrounds Saturday starting at 10 a.m. to remember Japanese Americans imprisoned at the segregation camp during World War II. The annual Firecracker Regatta Sailboat races take place on Upper Klamath Lake Saturday and Sunday. The Chilla Quilters will host their annual quilt show Saturday and Sunday from 10 to 4 at the Chilliquin Community Center. Klamath County Museum is hosting an auto tour of Walker Rim on Saturday at 10 a.m. That's at Highway 97 and Forest Service Road 94, about four miles north of Chamolt. There will also be special tours exploring the construction of the historic Baldwin Museum in downtown Klamath Falls at 10 a.m. and noon on Saturday. Admission to that is $5. Oh, and stop by the Herald and News parking lot Saturday for a community yard sale. So until next week, for these stories and so much more, be sure to pick up your daily copy of the Herald and News or visit us online at heraldandnews.com.